You are about to engage in the guidebook unit, the Birch Bark House. The purpose of this video is to help you to better understand the Columbian Exchange and how it has changed life around the world. This knowledge is important because in the upcoming guidebook unit, Birch Bark House, you will learn about the exchange of crops, animals, and diseases between the old and new worlds. Be sure you have your handout available and something to write with for this video. Can you imagine pizza without tomatoes? Summertime without hamburgers or watermelon? All of these things became possible because Columbus landed in the New World. After Christopher Columbus discovered North America in 1492, many things began to change all over the world. Trade between the Old World and the, consisting of Europe, Asia, and Africa and the New World, North and South America, increased with both positive and negative consequences. Crops, animals, and diseases were exchanged in both directions across the Atlantic and reshaped how people from both the New World and Old World live. This exchange of these crops, animals, and diseases between the Old World and the New World was coined the Columbian Exchange, after Christopher Columbus became known for his discovery of America marking the beginning of trading between the old and new worlds. It is important to understand the Columbian Exchange because in the upcoming unit, you will analyze the effects that Columbus and the explorers had on the new world. During the time of the Columbus Exchange, many animals were brought to the new world from Europe. Before Europeans, the Native Americans had no animals large enough to ride or strong enough to work. The introduction of livestock such as horses, Cattle, oxen, and pigs changed life for the Native Americans. Oxen and cattle were able to travel long distances and carry heavy loads. This allowed for greater amounts of land to be farmed more quickly. Both cows and pigs were, such, were sources of food unlike what existed in North America. They were easy to care for, fed lots of people, and bred easily. Wild pigs actually became so overpopulated, they caused problems for people living in the New World by taking over land and eating the crops. With the introduction of horses, Native Americans could travel longer distances and hunt buffalo more easily. Although this led to greater profits from buffalo meat and hides, over time this drove buffalo to near extinction. Although many animals in the Columbian Exchange were brought to North America from Europe, turkeys, llamas, alpacas, and a few others were brought back to Europe as well. Now you are ready to think about the impact of the Columbian Exchange on the world at this time. On your handout, list one example of an animal that was traded in the Columbian Exchange and explain how this has impacted the lives of Americans and Europeans. Pause the video to record your answers on your handout at the first stop sign, then hit play when you are ready to continue. Some possible responses included oxen and cattle were used to transport heavy loads and help to farm the land, which allowed Native Americans to travel further and plant more crops. Cattle and pigs provided food for many people, but also led to overpopulation of pigs who ate valuable crops. Horses made hunting and traveling easier, which led to profits, but also nearly killed off the buffalo. Both Europeans and Native Americans benefited greatly from the exchange of crops during the Columbian Exchange. From the Old World came many different fruits and vegetables such as bananas, lettuce, watermelon, grapes, and citrus. Europeans introduced a variety of items like coffee, sugar, and tobacco, all crops that were sold for a large profit. Europeans enjoyed many New World foods as well. Tomatoes, avocados, cocoa, and many other foods had never been seen by Europeans before this time. Foods such as potatoes, corn, and cassava became a staple for Europeans because they were plentiful, easy to grow, and had more calories than old world food, making people feel less hungry. Populations in Europe grew dramatically during this time because people were well fed and healthy. Corn also became a main source of food for cows and other livestock. Now you are ready to think about the impact of the Columbian, the Columbian Exchange on the world. On your handout, list some examples of crops that were traded in the Columbian Exchange and explain how they impacted the lives of early Americans and Europeans. Pause this video to record your answers on your handout at the stop sign, 
then hit play when you are ready to continue. You may have said that both groups added many different crops to their way of life. Europeans gained many foods that were high in calories and fed many people, including potatoes, which became the main nutrition for people in Ireland. Corn was grown as a way to feed abundant livestock in the old world. Tomatoes are now an important ingredient for many Italian recipes. Cash crops such as coffee, sugar, and tobacco were grown for large profits on both sides. Many of these exchanges changed the way people lived and still exist in both the new and old world today. During the time of the Clement Exchange, Europe was overpopulated and their people lived in close quarters to animals and livestock. Because of this, diseases like smallpox, measles, mumps, typhoid, and others were easily spread between people and animals. As people and animals were transported to the New World from Europe, they brought these diseases with them. Since the Native Americans had no immunity to these diseases, they spread quickly and devastated the population of Native people. Some experts estimate that around 90% of the population was killed off by diseases within 100 years. Some tribes even became completely extinct due to these diseases. Now you are ready to think about how the exchange of diseases, animals, and crops impacted the lives of Native Americans and Europeans. On your handout, list two ways the Columbian Exchange impacted each of these groups of people. Pause the video to record your answers on your handout at the fourth stop sign, then hit play when you're ready to continue. Some ways the Columbian Exchange impacted life for Native Americans and Europeans through the trading of animals, plants, and diseases may include the following facts. The introduction of horses improved hunting and transportation for the Native Americans and almost caused the extinction of buffalo. Pigs and cattle provided large amounts of food, but also ate valuable crops. Oxen and cattle helped with heavy work. Both sides gained a variety of foods that are still popular today, such as tomatoes, chilies, and avocados. Corn was used as a way to feed livestock. Cash crops were grown for large profits, and populations in Europe rose as people became more well-nourished due to high-calorie foods that were easy to grow. Disease from Europe spread quickly and destroyed Native American populations because Native Americans were not immune to these European diseases and they died in large numbers as diseases spread quickly. Understanding the impact of the Columbian Exchange is an important order to think about as the changes as it, that it caused in both the old and new worlds. You will use this knowledge to take a closer look at the relationship between Native Americans and early settlers in the guidebook unit Birch Bark House. When you finish this video, be sure to turn in your completed handout to your teacher.